we're going to talk about how to get your Phalaenopsis orchid to rebloom. It only works with Phalaenopsis. It would not work with Oncidiums or Cymbidiums or Cattleyas, but with Phalaenopsis, I've got a trick for you. So, here we've got a plant. In fact, this plant was very unusual. It had three stems uh, on it. That You don't see that very often. So, do you see how this one is turning brown? Go ahead and cut it off at the base. That one is not going to rebloom. And this one, you see how there's only one more flower left on it. So what you're gonna look for, there was a flower here, a flower here, and a flower here, but there's a node. You're gonna cut right above that node, not below it, right above it, because if you cut below it, then you cut the node off. So we're gonna cut right above the node, and I just sent a hormone down this stem saying branch. You will now have about a 50% chance that it will put out a flowering spike. And what's really cool, this one already did it. I didn't even trim it. Do you see here was the last flower? Here's the first node. Do you see it already put a branch out? And I can feel these other nodes, They, I can feel that another branch wants to come out. What's really cool about this is that this will put out some more flowers. Let's say this original stem had 10 flowers on it. Now this one will probably have seven or eight. And I have even cut this one after it finished blooming and gotten another branch. I have been able to keep Phalaenopsis blooming nine months. Doesn't happen very often. And again, each time the new branch is gonna get shorter and have less flowers, but it's so cool. You can just keep it blooming. So anyway, I'll be cutting this one off and then we'll see if it branches off from here too. And give this a shot with your Phalaenopsis and I think you'll have, you'll have at least a 50% chance that'll work and feel when you're buying the plant, see if you can get a plant that has really thick nubby nodes on it and that you have an even higher chance of it reblooming. Here's a close up. Do you see how thick that node is? Do you see that it's wanting to branch out? In fact, now the stem is starting to die off Let's cut it right now. Just a little bit above the node. And again, I just sent a hormone down the stem saying, let's branch. And there's a node here. Who knows, it might branch too. Pretty cool.